Hey, what's up guys, it's Franz here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna go through a step-by-step -step process of how to stake your Cardano using the Daedalus wallet and a cold wallet such as a Nano Ledger X or S or maybe even a Trezor if you prefer that. Now, before we get started, I would definitely appreciate it if you guys give me a thumbs up below. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. I'm really trying to grow my channel and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All right, guys, so first things first, if you don't already have the Ledger, um, you know, I would definitely highly re recommend the Nano Ledger X. Um, I've been using Nano Ledger since 2017 now, and I love the product, honestly. So I would highly recommend them. And also, uh, I'm not sponsored by Nano Ledger. So I would definitely appreciate it if you guys use my affiliate link down below. I'm currently not making a lot of money from YouTube ad revenue right now. So any help from you guys would definitely be appreciated. Okay, guys, so once you get your product, definitely set that up on your computer. But definitely make sure you save your 24 keyword seeds because if you lose your nano ledger, um, you can definitely recover that using the 24 word seed phrases. All right, so once you've um, set up your ledger, once you've bought your ledger and set it up, um, the next thing you got to do is you have to download Ledger Live on your computer. I already have the Ledger Live downloaded, but you can go through the website of Nano Ledger. Um, just click on Ledger Live, download the app, and then send it all the way to your computer. So I've already done all of that, so we can definitely skip that. So one thing I do want to tell you guys is if you haven't used your Nano Ledger in a while, um, you might have to update your your Ledger Live. So typically when you update your Ledger Live, it pops up here in the Portfolio tab. Um, so you'll see it here. Uh, it's gonna have a, a prompt to update your Ledger Live. So go ahead and do that. So one thing that I noticed whenever I had to update my, my Ledger Live is I had to restart my computer. So make sure you, you restart your computer with your Nano Ledger X or S unplugged from your computer. So make sure once, once you do that, you can go through this Manager tab right here. So right now I just have to put in my my pin for my Ledger Live just so I can enter this manager tab. Okay, so I put in my pin, so I'm just waiting for the manager to upload. Okay, so currently right now, um, since I had to reinstall my firmware, I updated my firmware. Pretty much all my apps on my Ledger got deleted, which is fine. So I'm just gonna download Cardano so I can have it seen in this in this Ledger. So as, as you guys can see here, I don't have any apps. Um, I don't even have a Bitcoin or, or Ethereum app in the ledger, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and install that. And once I click install, um, it should pop up here. So I'm going to go ahead and install Cardano and we wait for that to process. So as you guys can see, it's processing right now on my ledger, but it might take a few minutes so I can just fast forward the video. All right, guys, so that should already be installed. And yep, it's pretty instant. As soon as you see install in the computer, it should say installed in your ledger as well. Next step is actually going to take forever. So if you're watching this video, definitely feel free to save it and then watch it again another day because this next step is definitely going to take forever. Uh, the next step is going to be to download the Daedalus wallet, which again, uh, takes forever. But one thing to note, guys, is you have to make sure that you download the Daedalus wallet via the cardano.org website because you know you, you just never know like there might be scams um, of different individuals companies trying to scam you to download the wrong wallet so you, you definitely don't want to do that so um, go through cardano.org and hit the individual tab right here and then click Daedalus okay so once you do that you can definitely download Daedalus uh, depending on what you have like you might have a MacBook or a PC or a Linux. So like whatever you have, just pick that one and then download it in your computer. So download that, it might take a few minutes um, and then open the Daedalus wallet, um, which I'll show you what the wallet looks like. It looks like this right here. Like, like I said, if it's your first time, if it's your first time downloading the Daedalus wallet, um, I remember when I first downloaded this, I did it around 11 p.m. at night and it didn't finish until until the next morning. Okay guys, so here we are. Once you've downloaded the Daedalus wallet in your computer, um, you'll have the option to connect your Nano Ledger to the Daedalus wallet. So right now, if you click on add wallet down here at the bottom, you'll have the option to pair your hardware wallet device. Again, don't click this, click the pair hardware wallet device. I'll click that. So right now it's asking for um, the pin. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter the pin on my hardware wallet device. All right, guys, so once you've clicked that, um, it's gonna ask you that it's exporting your public key. 
uh, to your Nano Ledger device. So go ahead and accept that export of the public key. So it's going to look like this on your on your device. Let me see if you guys can see that. Yep, confirm export public key. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. So we now have our Ledger Nano X ready and available. Okay, so currently right now, um, since I created a brand new wallet, I will need to wait for that to be synced. So currently it's 9.4%. Um, so this might take 15, 30 minutes to sync. So we'll, we'll go ahead and fast forward the video until that is done. Okay guys, so that has been fully synchronized. So as you guys can see at the far left corner, we have the Ledger Nano X wallet. Um, so all, all we have to do is click the receive button. So for me specifically, um, I will send some Cardano from crypto.com into my Metalist wallet, uh, Nano Ledger X, uh, you know, because as you guys remember, my staking rewards right now in crypto.com is 3%. Um, and I've been staking my Cardano there for three months. So I've decided to, uh, you know, upgrade my rates and finally do most of my staking from the Daedalus wallet because I do get better rates here at the Daedalus wallet. Just click the receive button right here. And as, as you guys can see, you have multiple receiving addresses. Um, it doesn't matter which one you pick, just click uh, into my crypto.com app. So, you know, we'll wait until that is fully uh, sent. So I'm gonna copy the address into my crypto.com app and then send it from crypto.com into my Daedalus wallet. Okay guys, so that is done, but keep in mind, so I withdrew my Cardano from crypto.com. I withdrew 1,000 Cardano and was charged a two Cardano fee. So that's just over two bucks. So keep in mind, uh, if you do want to do a test transaction, so like say $10, just to feel comfortable sending it to a wallet like this, especially if it's your first time, just do keep in mind, um, depending on, on which platform you use, I use crypto.com and I paid a $2 uh, or a two Cardano fee, which is slightly over two bucks. So keep that in mind if you're doing small transactions. So for me, I decided to go ahead and send 1,000 Cardano, paid a two Cardano fee, so I was left with 998. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick tour right now of the wallet because currently right now, we have 998 Cardano in the wallet, and we still have to find a staking pool for that. Okay, so just a quick tour. Again, uh, not a lot going on in this wallet. It's a pretty simple wallet. Uh, the summary tab just shows you all your transactions that, that's been made, um, sending, receiving, things like that. Um, obviously, sending is to send away your Cardano from the Daedalus wallet to whatever wallet of your choice. Receiving is receiving it into this wallet. Uh, transactions, all your transaction history there. Um, and finally, uh, next tab right here on the far left, um, you have a summary of the next epoch. So currently right now, as you guys know, we get paid um, every five days for Cardano. But if it's, if it's your first time uh, delegating into a staking pool for Cardano, it does take 25 days. So keep that in mind. But you don't have um, lockup requirements on like crypto.com where you have to lock up your Cardano for three months. There are no lockup requirements for, for the Daedalus wallet. But do keep in mind that if you decide to send some Cardano over and you unstake it, let's say the next day, you might not get any rewards at all because you do have to lock it up for a certain time period to do earn that reward. So basically right now, no lockup and 17 hours until the next epoch when I get paid. Um, you know, this is a new wallet right now, so I will have to wait 25 days for my Ledger Nano X wallet because it's a, it's a brand new wallet for me. But for, for my old wallet, my Cardano wallet, um, you know, that should that should generate a uh, yield um, in, in roughly 17 hours. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and dive into staking pools real quick. Now, I know this video might be a little bit longer, but hopefully it's very informative for you guys. So currently right now, I don't really re recommend that you guys use this tab right here. It's pretty useless in my opinion. Um, for those of you that use it, you know, you know, definitely tell me, um, you know, the the use case for this because I certainly don't find a use case for using this little icon right here. So I personally don't use that. So I just want to give you guys a little bit um, of insight on how to choose your pools because as you guys can see here, there are thousands of pools right now, so it can get really confusing. But you know, one thing, okay, just a few key points that I have in mind whenever I do choose my pools is I like to choose pools that are in the green. As you guys can see here, there are some pools in the green, some in the yellow, and then some are in the red. So that basically tells you how efficient the pools are. I mainly like to pick pools that are that are in the green. Um, so actually, we'll, we'll go online and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay guys, so we're gonna 
go over some staking pools real quick. So the website that I'm using is going to be adapools.org, as you guys can see here. So I'm using adapools.org forward slash pool. So we're going to type in the name of the pool that I've used for my other wallet. So for my other wallet that had 5,000 Cardano, I used a pool called ESTK. So we're going to look at adapools.org. Just look at the stats of that pool. So this is my pool right now is ESTK. Let's go ahead and find that. All right, so as you guys can see here, um, one thing that I look at when it comes to pool is I like to look at pools that are not saturated. Um, you know, especially if a pool is getting close to 100% saturation, um, that's pretty much a no-go for me, and I might look at other pools. So this pool is actually not that bad. It's only 72% saturated. Um, you know, right now the minimum pledge required for this pool is 1,000 Cardano, and personally for me, I haven't really seen a pool that requires less than 1,000 Cardano. So 1,000 is pretty much the minimum that I've seen so far. So you know, if you guys want to stake Cardano, do keep in mind that you might need at least 1,000 Cardano. So this pool is actually really awesome. The lifetime luck, which I believe um, is the amount of time that this pool is operating. So pretty much imagine if the power goes out and the pool. Uh, goes down for a little bit, um, this number might go down. So it's pretty cool to know that this pool has a 100% um, lifetime luck. And also, uh, you know, keep in note, guys, that this pool was created back in November of 2020. So it's currently July of 2021. So this pool's actually been running for a fairly long time. So as you guys do your research on pools, um, you know, you'll definitely see a lot of pools that have been created, uh, let's say recently, April, May, June, July, 2021. I like to look at pools that are really as old as possible. I mean, by old, I mean um, sometime in late 2020 because that's when pools started to come about. So I like to look at pools that were created back in 2020 and also pools that have lifetime locks of pretty much 100%. And also another thing that I look at is going to be ROI. So currently right now, the monthly ROI for this pool is going to be 4.84%. So slightly lower than my expectation, but um, that's only for the month. But if you were to annualize the ROI of this pool ever since inception, since uh, let's say November 2020, this pool has generated 5% ROI. So I pretty much like to look at pools with lifetime ROIs of 5%. Let's actually take a look at other examples of other pools. So let's take a look at, let's say, a top pool recommended here. So let's look at this SECUR pool just for a different example, SECUR. All right, so as you guys can see here, this pool uh, in terms of the life lifetime luck, uh, it's pretty good, 94%. Again, I like to keep that as close to 100% as possible. But the thing, the thing about this pool is it requires 500,000 Cardano to stake. So if you if if you're a small fish, you know, the rates are awesome. Um you know, like the, the lifetime ROI is 5%. I mean, my pool is actually pretty good. It has a lifetime ROI of 5.1%. So it's actually better than than this pool here. So, you know, even though this pool is for the big fish, uh, in my opinion, my pool that I'm currently in is pretty dang good, um, you know, considering that my lifetime ROI is 5.1% and I only require a minimum pledge of 1,000 Cardano. So again, you guys can do your research. Um, you know, you guys can pretty much join whatever pools uh, that you want. But in my opinion, again, if I tell you guys to join this, uh, this thing's going to be saturated and it might lower the ROI of this pool, but it's fine. Uh, if you guys join, if, if you guys do decide to join this pool, again, I'm not affiliated uh, in any way with this pool. I only chose this because of the stats. If you guys do join this, eventually, the, you know, the ROI might might get lowered, but it, it's fine. Um, if it does get lowered, I'll just find a different pool. But, you know, if you're watching this video, definitely, you know, do, do keep this pool in mind if you guys are interested. So I use the ESTK pool when when staking my Cardano. So we're, we're going to use the same thing again. I already have um, for my other wallet. I have a staking pool already for that, but not yet for my Nano Ledger X wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and find myself a staking pool. So let's go ahead and delegate that. So ESTK. So I'm gonna go ahead and delegate to the pool. Um, so first thing you gotta do guys is, is click on the second tab right here and click on staking pools. Again, I, I've already, I'm gonna use the same staking pool as my other wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here, delegate to the pool and then hit continue. And then we uh, we can obviously select obviously my my first wallet my first wallet is already delegated to this pool so i'm going to go ahead and select my second wallet here ledger nano x so at this point we'll have two wallets delegated to this pool so we'll hit continue 
and we'll hit continue again. Okay, so currently right now it's going to charge me a fee of 0.17 Cardano, so that's roughly uh, less than less than 20 cents, like 20 20 something cents. So it's not too bad. Uh, so right now it's going to ask me to uh, enter my PIN on my device. I'm going to go ahead and do that so we can complete this transaction. All right, so on the device, guys, it's going to ask you to confirm export of public key. As you guys can see here, uh, it's going to ask you to confirm export of public key, and you know, go ahead and go ahead and accept that. So once you accept that, it's going to take uh, a few minutes, and then the transaction should be confirmed on your Daedalus wallet. Okay, right, so you, you actually have a lot of things to do, a, a lot of things to confirm on your Nano Ledger S. So you know, do keep that in mind that you do have a lot of transactions to confirm. You know, delegating to the pool, etc. So do keep that in mind that you do have to accept a lot of things when it comes to your Nano Ledger X. Okay, so I've already confirmed all of that on my wallet, so that should be good to go and done. So we're, we're going to go ahead and go back to the computer and confirm this here. All right, so this is taking actually a few minutes, so we'll go ahead and wait on that until that is done. All right, so that should be good to go. Let's actually take a look at our delegation center. Okay, so right now I do have both of my wallets, my Cardano wallet. Um, and my Ledger Nano X. And do keep in mind that whenever you delegate to a pool, you are charged to Cardano right now. So if you guys remember that I, I brought in about roughly 998 Cardano, um, minus two Cardano, I have roughly 995.8 to round it up, 996. So do do keep that in mind. Um, you know, if you, so if you're only staking like um, 1,000 Cardano or less, it does eat into your ROI. Obviously, the more Cardano you're staking, the less immaterial the two Cardano becomes. If you're staking hundreds of thousands of Cardano, two Cardano is pretty immaterial. But again, you know, I think that 1,000 Cardano is pretty worth it, uh, considering that you're making 5% APY annually. Okay, so pretty much the rest of the tabs, it's pretty straightforward. There's really nothing here. Um, you know, one thing that I do do in this tab is I do like to change the color sometimes. So the only thing that I do in this tab is I go here and I sometimes like to change the color. So maybe you, you might like the yellow version better. So I do sometimes like to change the color. So that's pretty much the only thing I do uh, in this tab right here, change the color scheme of my Cardano wallet. So for this tab right here, again, we do get paid to vote. So that's pretty cool. So all, all you got to do is download this on your on your phone, uh, like whether you have Android for Google Play or your Apple Apple Store. So download um, this app on your phone and then click this box right here that you've installed a voting app. And then you do get paid a little bit of Cardano, actually. So, you know, if you do register to vote, you might get back this to Cardano that you paid whenever you stake your Cardano. So uh, let's actually take a look at that Cardano right now. So uh, as you guys can see here, I put in roughly 998 Cardano and was charged uh, to Cardano. Okay, so that's, that's pretty much gonna be it for me. Again, um, I did make a Patreon, guys. If you guys wanted to support my, my journey, my, my channel, I did make a Patreon. Uh, if you guys wanna make a little donation to my Patreon, I do have that set up for my donation members. And also, if you guys wanna be uh, founding members, I, I am only trying to find 100 founding members of my Patreon, uh, you know, and which I'll provide more valuable content. Um, so definitely do keep that in mind. I do have my Patreon. I will leave a link down below for my Patreon. Um, it does help support my YouTube journey. Again, I'm not really making a lot of money from my YouTube ad revenue. So, you know, any help from Patreon will be greatly appreciated, guys. Again, if you enjoyed the video, definitely give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All right, I'll see you next time.